So I'm going to bring to the stage now my friend and colleague, Keith Mitchell, who is our meditation guide for the evening. So Keith, come on up. Namaste. Such a, pleasure to, such a pleasure to be here with you guys in this amazing space. I'm so grateful for the shine to invite me to come back and be with you guys. Um, we are going to do the meditation. How many of you guys are, have a meditation practice or are familiar with meditation? Okay, I don't want to assume anything. Perfect. With that being said, what we're going to do is just kind of take, take the space and kind of make this, like Light said, a container with intention, creating purpose. I don't know about you, but, um, you know, 2016 has been, you know, you know I'm, a, I'm a former football player and, you know, we used to, we would travel. I started my career and played most of my career in New Orleans. and We would travel to the East Coast and the time changed to be mornings and a little bit earlier than normal. And uh, you would probably should line up against, I would line up against some six foot something, 300 something, all pro of everything. And you know, the first play of the, of the game, I would get hit, you know, get, take that hit that you really wasn't expecting. And you're like, oh, okay, you guys wanna play like that, huh? That's kind of like how 2016 has been coming. <laughs> but that's okay. That's why we practice. And um, so with that being said, you know, if, even if it's not in your, life, in your case, in your life, but for me, we're just going to kind of just shake that off. You know, we had our, our vision boards, we had our intentions set, our goals set for the new year. We're just going to shake all that off if, if, that's, if life hits you like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find this moment of just kind of grounding ourselves so we can get push play on the music and just kind of get this space, hold this space and create this container as we take this journey in. So allow yourself to just kind of take the inhale, the first inhale. Allow yourself to just let it go, exhale. One more inhale. Let yourself exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. So what you're allowing yourself to do is find this place of being present. And being present the only thing that matters is this moment and how you show up in this moment. As you begin to ground your feet, accepting the posture of commitment, the purpose of what we're here for. It's a very interesting concept of what we've been kind of playing with. It's creating this circle and as people come in, they see this circle. Kind of take an inventory of how that circle reflects who I am. And the principle of this is, can I have an inner circle without an outer circle? Can I have an outer circle without an inner circle? And recognizing how they go together and how that reflects in principle to me is my skin, the bridge, or the barrier to who I am. Is my skin, the bridge, or the barrier to the universe? And how so many things are happening in our world can I show up and do my part? How can I show up in myself and build this intention of compassion, patience, and 
order that I may be passionate and patient to the world, to the environment in which I live. So as you focus and build on that intention, allow yourself to just kind of be in tune with the air that you breathe as it go in and out the nostril kind of patiently follow it down to the belly of your stomach. As you allow yourself to just take in this inherent ability that we have to heal ourselves, oxygen, blood flow. As I mentioned football a little bit earlier, I came into this practice with only my breath. I was paralyzed from the neck down, making a tackle that I had made a million times. I had no resistance. But the only intention that I had was to heal my body. And when I realized I could heal my body with my breath, this became my game plan. As I began to unlock my mind, my body would follow. In that, led me to purpose. And we all have this. It's just accessing it. My whole life, I always thought that all I was was a football player. But in realizing my purpose, could find my true possibilities. This is what we all have. But it's trusting it, believing it, accessing it. It's a cultivation. We are powerful beyond measure. We just have to believe it. So stay with your breath. Inhale. was possible. Let's focus on the heart. For these next couple breaths, we're just going to focus on our heart and create space in our heart where we've held these things so tight, these perceptions of ourselves. We're going to just release our hearts. interesting thing that comes up is the idea is a lot of people talk about how can I open my heart but the real question is how did my heart close so allow yourself to just breathe into your heart release your heart release the bandages release the wounds stand with the breath inhale Allow 
yourself to pray. Just fill your heart with compassion. I want to leave you with a poem that's very dear to me. The title of this poem is Love After Love. It reads like this. The time will come when with elation you will greet yourself arriving at your own door in your own mirror and each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who is yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all your life. Whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart, take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit, feast on your life. Namaste.